right, the presidential elections is done and dusted. Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Sunibu of the All Progressive Congress has been declared winner by the Independent National Electoral Commission. Subsequently, Alaji Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, as well as Peter Gregory Obi of the Liberal Party, have taken the cases to the courts, claiming that they actually won the election and not Bola Ahmed Sunibu. And, uh, you know, the, courts is, the, the case actually is in the court's rooms at the moment. We're still expecting what the courts are going to see about that. However, we'll be looking at some very vital events that occurred during the election, some of which happens to be the loss of Lagos State by the All Progressive Congress to Labour Party. This is something that has never happened before, looking at the fact that Bola Ahmed Tunumbu has been acclaimed the landlord of Lagos politics, which many of them have claimed that no one can beat him in Lagos. However, Labour Party and not even the People's Democratic Party, who happens to be his biggest competitors, you know, won Lagos during the presidential elections. And many people are talking about this at the moment, looking at what actually transpired. Some of the local governments that happens to be the stronghold of the All Progressive Congress were lost to Labour Party in the presidential elections. Aside from that, people are also talking about the I voter apathy, looking at the fact that 7 million registered voters in Lagos State, however, barely over 1 million came out to vote. And this and many more we will be looking at because in a cohort blog at the moment, we are at some of these local governments, talking about Ali Mosha local government, Ojo local government, as well as Koshofe local government, to ask people what actually transpired in the presidential elections and what their expectations are towards the governorship election, which has been shifted to the 18th of March, 2023. Join us as we take you on this wonderful journey. My name is Yonada Joshua Ayodeji, reporting from Ali Mosha local government and also taking you on the journey to Ojo local government and Koshofe local government. Join me. See, for my own, what I see about that is the fact it's a very surprise because nobody that has a belief that that kind of thing is ha it can happen. Because all of everybody believes that Tinubu is the home of this Lagos state and it's do us well. But what is really ha happened that time, in fact, is very surprise. Even including myself, I'm not believe about that, say that thing can happen. But where? Even though self, I'm not expecting it at all that the Labour Party can win this Lagos state. Even though they left Tinubu said I want to lose the Lagos State, it's supposed to lose to the PDP party. But at the end of the day, we see here that it's the Labour Party that is the owner of the Lagos State. Ah! Very surprised. But when everything belongs to God's hand, and God is owner of everything. So, but when this uh, election when is coming about the governorship, I'm not sure that the Labour Party can. In fact, they can't see draw. Mm, exactly, that is the actually what is happening. Because as most of the election that has happened before, people believe that it's not their own voting they are, they are counting. And some people have fear. So, okay, now all these uh, useless boys, whether they the Baru election or do or whatever, anything. People have fear. Even those are like me now, if I don't come out to go and vote, my wife and my children will be sad. Daddy, don't go out, don't go out. So, when I hear all those things now, I will not see him my photo scars. So, well, let me hear what my wife is saying. So, but exactly what is happening now, people see half interest about to voting again. Because, like me now, I believe that the, the next election now, people will still come out more than the past one. So, I believe that. So, by God's grace, sir. And again, this is our country. I believe that all this thing that is happening now, that means that we are going to the normal level. Because at least things have changed. So, at least our people now, our, our eyes have opened. That way, we're going to have votes and stay with your votes. Your votes can be counting. So that is it's a good, that is a good thing. So that's what I said. That's elections for you, but there are reasons. And um, I think the governor has outlined some of the reasons. One of them was uh, the fact that APC had their internal wrangling that was not fully resolved in Lagos. Secondly, about the uh, outfall of the NSAS issue, the youth thought that the state government didn't really fully address it. But... The government, Lagos State government, is the only government in the whole of Nigeria that fully addressed these issues and paid compensation to families that were affected. Even by past 
misbehavior mis of uh, the police. No other state government did it. And that the youths too were angry. But the youths need to know a little bit about history. Some of these things that got them angry have been addressed, but because it was not addressed in their own way. Only people that are in government or that have passed through government will be able to understand the fact that those ways at which they, th they thought the issues should have been addressed can't be addressed like that. Now, people now turned it to become an ethnic issue. The OB they, they, everybody was talking about is 61. He's not a youth. And I'm not sure that he has the solutions to all the problems they think. Because by the time he gets there, too, he will discover that the, the issues is beyond, those issues are beyond him. And the people who have voted for him at that time, too, will have been disappointed because he wouldn't be able to solve it. Now, the issue of postponement of elections, you've heard that there, was, uh, there are court issues, and the court agreed that INEC should modify the beavers. I think if they can give them some time, to do it, I think one week should be is enough. And they're saying one week, and one week will be will come up in under seven days. You have people that are always following things around, who have no voters card. You have people who registered in Lagos but don't live here. They live in Ogun State. They just took the voters card just because maybe it will be asked for. Maybe when their children want to go to school, or they need some level of identification. You have people that have voters' cards that will start to play football on the day of the election. And everybody is asking for somebody else to win. Meanwhile, your candidate is there. You didn't vote for him. So people will form big man, big women. They will not come out to vote. They will say, I, 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 I don't need it. But when the opponent now wins, okay, you discover that they say, ah, it's rigged. No. Not, it is not all elections that are rigged. Some of them could be doctored, but not rigged totally. Because if you have majority of people voting for a particular candidate, and that candidate now wins, what are you calling for? Anarchy. Okay? So, everybody that has a PVC should make the point of duty to go out and vote. And, mind you, vote for your future your future is very, very important. Lagos has given a lot of opportunities to people. Look at you, you people. How many states have the facilities that is enjoyed in Lagos? And because of the volume of pressure on those facilities, and that's why you keep, government keeps, have, have to keep repairing and repairing and repairing every time. Some people will tell you that the government is not coming to the mainland. The government is staying on the island. I would say sometimes it could be. You could look at it like that. But the dividends of the island is coming to the main that you can see. In the, la in the last 20 years in this place, this place wasn't like this. But now that infrastructure is being improved, it's a gradual thing. It will come. But the Lagos State Government has been consistent since 1999. They laid their foundation based on the, on the ones that was there during the Jacondi era, and they've been, they've been moving forward. So what we need to do is to help this government to make sure that nobody comes to turn it around again. Because if a new government comes, my brother, you go sleep small. It gives, it gives an, another opportunity for parties to further campaign and tell people to sell themselves to, to the electorate. It gives another opportunities for people that are campaigning based on ethnicity to look at what happened between 1967 and 1970. If you do that, you find out that. And then everybody in your house, talk to your family. Let's come out and vote because we, are, we, we have the right to choose our own government. And whatever the government does, you can always walk on that and say you didn't do well or you did well.
Thank you. I was very, very angry because we, the youth, we are angry because we know our candidates. We know who we vote for. I was surprised when the INA just scored the results. You understand? We have to, we have to pick out the president, the new president, the person that will lead Nigeria. Look at me. I was looking for money, raising our money to buy money. There's no money. There's no food. There's nothing. Nothing. We need a new change. We need a good governor. Please, governor should do something. We know what we are fighting for. We know our leader of tomorrow. Please. I don't want, please, 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 please. Because that day I came outside in the morning. I was walking up and down. I know what we vote for. And I'm here on that result. I know we should do something. We are the youth. Thank you. God bless you. Um, I just believe that the election was not fair enough because it was so obvious. Because during the election process, they were each polling unit, people were. Um, videoing and capturing everything, the counting posters and everything. But still, yet when the result came out, they did not represent what we follow, what they counted. So they just in fact they rigged the election in total. That's what me, I, I believe. But at least they said uh, everybody has the right to vote. So our right did not count. They did not got our rights, and it is unfair. Um, I don't think that's the reason, no. But I think some most people said they don't have voter's card. They don't take it serious. So even if they are now Snubu as the winner or whatsoever, it's still rigged because whether they vote to or they not vote to, or people come out, they not come out to, they will still rig it. So that's just it. Anyway, nobody expected it that Labour Party will win in this Lagos. Because Tunubu, let me say Tunubu is the is the holder of Lagos, is the is the is the king of Lagos, but unexpectedly, Labour Party won in Lagos State. So definitely there's no how they are going to manufacture the you know the results that Peter Obi did not win this election. People want to change. Youths youth are angry now. People that voted in Lagos State are youths, not old ones. You know before the old ones they used to vote and the youth they but now youth are angry. We want change, we want to see change. We don't have employment, nothing. Look at the youth there. Okay, most 100% of the youth in this Nigeria, they are into Yahoo, doing fraud. You understand? But as it been, there is employment, like other countries. Nobody will indulge in such crimes. So we want change. And we believe that Peter Obi is the right person for us. That's why we voted obedient. A lot of people showed up, but the INEC, they are trying to maneuver things just because of the money. They are, they are after the money bag, not after what the, the youth or what the nation would think. You understand? Because uh, I believe uh, Tunubu will assign some huge amount of money to them so that they can give him the president, as you understand. But with the youth, we, don't, we, are, we are still angry about that. And if there is no possible turn up that Obi is going to, to be on that seat, I'm afraid that there might, there might be some kind of riot. In this our dispensation, it is time for our leaders to listen to the masses. Uh, in terms of Lagos, what makes the PC to lose to the uh, Labour Party is because they don't see it coming and they don't believe that the mass uh, voting can count. So they didn't uh, see it coming. They neglected it, the effort of the youth. In terms of media, in terms of publicity, they, th they thought it would be as usual. But this has come to show us that now that the, the masses, the vote cast by masses count a lot. And that is what has happened now. But to me, I see that this is the, uh, the highest, highest I can, I can record that people come out in mass to vote because in my own unit, I can see crowd of people that, you know, devote their time, despite their schedule, despite the sun, despite the inconveniences in terms of time. But people are there to give their best to their best candidates. And uh, to me, I believe that this is the highest, despite the, uh, the numbers of the, uh, they are giving us now, I will see that in terms of Lagos, it's like this is the poorest. But to me, I don't, I cannot, let me just leave everything like that. Yeah, they're supposed to lose. I know they will lose. Because there's a lot of people that's angry. 
Though they are working, I should tell you the truth. We are there, so agent, they support, all the governor should work perfectly on the agent, like the agent, like last man, task force. The way they are working, doing with the people, is bad. Go to the, their office, their head office in the Oshodi. You will see people, corporate people, crying early the morning when they are going to the office. Because of what? Because maybe someone they carry beside them, the bed removed, then they will just arrest it. Maybe you want to carry your friend and also they say you do, or maybe your tire is flat. Instead of that, they say, okay, they should wait for you. Do your immediately they will call the Tofia and tell you. Tell me kind of corporate board that will really get to home, that will tell his family that is they, they will support the, that government. No, they can't support the government. So people have tired. The government will have tired of them. They are agents, last man and task force. Yes. They have already know that no they they don't be especially because they don't cut the election serious. They believe that maybe they have already perfected. And they have forget that this now electoral is something. If you have your PVC, that's why the youth were angry to take the APC out of it. APC thinks maybe this are or or that they can use. You can't use them. When the copy and youth are with their APC. All the time they are going up and down for one million, for one million something, they didn't get PVC. They are sleeping under the beach up and down. You understand me now? So how are, you, how are they going to win? And corporate bodies around the state, they have their, especially youth, they have their pieces, workers have their PVC. They will fight against them. They have already, their agents have already weakened them. So they need change. They are working. But they have tired of their agent, or they are calling Tassos and last one and Tassos. Go to from Kodu, you see that be okay, beating people who might be like you. Are they forced? No. Where are they? You know, and no control, no anything about it. We give, the Lagos government has given the Tassos too much power. Talk as the uh, last man. No shake up, no anything. About, especially this government, I've never seen it. This government did not shed all their agents at all. They are just making the money into their pocket, making people crying. I'm trying my best. I'm telling the truth. I'm not a politician, but I love them. They are working. The only problem they have is they are only on their agent. There's not only Yubo that footed for the APC. There are Yoruba people too. They are just tired of, of what their agent are doing. And some, that, you understand me now? That does it. That does it. So I'm still consulting my people, confusing them. We cannot, these people are trying. They are working. If this, this is their mistake, we can let them know. That's why, you know, I was in some motor, I have to pack and be looking for the opportunity that I can send my message to them. To go to Sonolu and Tinubu. They are working, but they should work on their agent, like last man and task force. That's it. Yes. It's because of many things that happen in Lagos State. For instance, in Lagos State, some people, especially the, the last man collected car, also what I heard about there is because of what happened in Togate, in SAS. That is why the youth did not vote for APC. The youth in Yoruba voted for Labour Congress. Are you getting it, sir? So, I, what happened is that if it is because of our leader did not come out and address the issue to the youth that I'm sorry, because if the elderly person offending the youth, the, the elderly person have the capacity to come out and say sorry, that is what really happened. Let's assume that the elderly person came out and addressed the youth, the youth will have voted for APC. But the Yoruba youth prefer to vote for, prefer to vote for Labour Congress. That is what really happened. That is why the... The APC did not enter in Lagos State. You know, some people they don't have money for TPS, some people they cancel or Are you getting it? Some people they don't have money that they can use to transport their cells. Some people because of changing money. So this thing really affects people in the in the community. That is what really happens, sir. Okay, now let's switch the presidential the governorship election. Yes. What's your expectations from the governorship election? I expect in I expect that I what thing I believe, but because this is Yoruba land, the Yoruba land, the Yoruba land, I believe that APC will enter, because we have learned our lesson that we have learned our lesson that we should vote for someone, and I believe that that day our people will come out in mass and vote for him. 
Thank you much. Your name once again, sir. My name is Ola Dipo Shola. Thank you, sir. All right, so we have been everywhere, from Alimosho down to Koshofe, asking questions that has to do with our points today, talking about the presidential elections, which was just concluded, as well as people's perspectives on why the votes came out that way, the poor turnout of people, the fact that APC lost to the Labour Party, actually, in Lagos State. Well, the governmental elections is still coming soon, and we know that it's March 18, which is going to be the particular date where we are going to be having these elections. Maybe we will have some very vital points to pick out from that election as well. Things could change, things might not change, but in a quartz blog, we will keep bringing you every update which you need to know about these particular elections. But then, you have to subscribe to all our social media channels, which is on your screen right now, and do well to subscribe on our YouTube channel. So we'll bring you next update and we'll meet next time. My name is Joshua. You're there. Keep it locked. <laughs>